Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Let's talk about copying and pasting sequence markers in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. This is a long requested feature for Premiere Pro, so it's in the latest version only. And it's the ability to copy and paste sequence markers from one sequence to another. This was not possible before. We're not talking about clip markers, talking about sequence markers. It's turned off by default. Let's turn it on and show you how it works. In the markers menu down at the bottom, copy paste includes sequence markers. And you'll notice in this sequence, not only do I have videos, but I've got markers showing and I've got those open up. And if you go to the markers panel, make sure the sequence is selected, you'll see those markers there. I have a whole tutorial about working with markers that you can visit. Now, I'm going to copy some of the assets. I'll do it two ways. I'll select the assets and I'll select in and out points. Premiere Pro prefers the selection of assets over the in and out point. So let's go have a look. So I've got two sequences. I've got my main sequence here. I've got the paste sequence here. I'm going to select this clip with this marker above this clip. And I'll just, I'm not going to select the marker itself. I'm just going to select the clip and copy. So you can do that in the edit menu, copy, or just command C, control C, go to this sequence and paste it in. And you'll notice it's pasted in the marker with that sequence. That might sound pretty obvious, but that didn't work before. So you just have to turn that on and it will copy and paste it. Now, I wanna point out that these are sequence markers. They're not clip markers. So if you expect to move the clip and have it uh, the sequence marker move, it won't. You need to make a clip marker to do that. How to do that? You click on the clip first and then you tap the M key for marker. But if you move this, it's not going to move. But if you ripple delete this, so if I do a, a ripple delete that way, it's going to move that down. All right, so let's get rid of all of that stuff. And now let's select both of these clips. So these two middle clips here, and you can see that there are markers above them. Again, I'll copy and paste. And when we zoom out, you can see both of them are showing up. By the way, all the videos in this tutorial were provided by Adobe Stock, the premier supplier of stock images, video, illustrations, motion graphics, and 3D objects. There are special links in the description to take you to Adobe Stock where you can find the perfect asset for your next creative project. All right, now let's mark, mark an in and out point. Okay, I'm gonna clear this out, go back to my main sequence and just choose an in and out point that's part of this video and part of that video. So there's my in and out point. I just tap the I and the O key. I don't have anything selected. I just have in and out points and I'll copy, come back here and paste. And you'll notice that the blue marker showed up, but the red marker or the green marker rather on this guy didn't show up. The reason being is the in point was past the in point of the marker. It's not going to bring the whole marker just because you're within the boundaries of it. The in and out point have to be on the beginning or before the beginning. So let's do that again. I'll undo that. Let's go back to the sequence. This time I'll move the in point so that it's at the beginning of this marker. Copy and paste that in. And you can see it makes it all the way in. And if I double click on that and open it up, you'll notice that all marker information is preserved, such as color, notes, duration, marker type, etc. They're all in that same place. So brand new feature in Adobe Premiere Pro CC that I think you'll really love, especially if you're someone that uses markers like this is, and I don't use that term often, this is a game changer for people that do use markers and moving between multiple sequences. A highly requested feature brought to you by the Adobe engineers who are listening to what you want and delivering what you want in this new update in Premiere Pro CC. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed and you thought this was useful, then take a moment and subscribe. You wanna support us some more, we have a special 
way that you can uh, support us very, very easy directly on PayPal, either a single contribution or a monthly contribution. We really do appreciate all the people that are supporting us there. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking good and your markers copying and pasting into your sequences.